In this episode of Learning with the Locals, I meet a young boy called Juna who really wants to learn to swim. But before we meet him, let's find out why learning to swim is such an important skill here. Dying from drowning is a serious public health problem worldwide. And in Southeast Asia, it's much higher than the global average. In Indonesia, it's definitely a problem with many young boys aged between five and 12 dying each year. So what can we do to help? Well, there's many reasons for the problem. The lack of barriers between water and people. How we travel on water a lot here. And of course, how many people do not know how to swim. So with many people in the country unable to swim, let's see if we can help out. Alex, my friend from Poland, asked me to teach Juna. Let's see what I can do to help. Okay, Juna, Juna. Sebelum, female duduksini. Juna. Hello, duduk sini sebelum kita kolam berenang uh, setelah. Kita akan pergi ke kolam berenang okay. dua minit lagi. Oke, okay, dua minit. Kamu uh, sudah bisa kolam di berenang bagus? Oh, tidak bagus. Tidak bagus, ya? Oke, okay, cool. Kamu, kamu mau saya manajer kamu kolam di berenang? Ya? Yeah? Oke. Okay. Sebelum ada orang tolong kamu dengan kolam di berenang? Ada. Siapa? Dia. Juna has only swum a few times with his mum, but hasn't got any basic skills yet. Saya kerja guru olahraga di sekolah di sini. So saya, saya sudah tahu menaja anak kamu-kamu, like di, di, di kolam berenang. You ready? Bagus. Okay, pergi ke kolam berenang. Sekarang. Let's hope Juna understood what I was saying. Did you? So ini tidak perlu. Ketika kamu bel a manager, so we got ready for the pool, and although Juna was nervous, I felt he was still very excited. Nanti we wear. Nanti we wear. Okay, first thing. Okay, we're just going to test the water, okay? Take one, one. It's okay. Good start. Okay, good. Now. Ah, good. Summer side, just now. Yes, he took a while to warm up, but Juna was starting to show some pretty good things. <laughs> First step is to always build confidence in the water through play. The second step is to attempt to blow bubbles underwater, even though Juna is quite scared of wearing the goggles. <laughs> oh, Juna. Juna, that's okay. We have to be tough. We have to be tough. Juna was a bit scared, so we took a step back and practiced our kicking. It's very important to stay positive with someone learning to swim, and any improvement should be celebrated. Okay, Visa? Let's try those bubbles again, hey? Do do a once you get some confidence blowing bubbles, you can start playing around with some other movements. Let's go, Juna. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Juno was not excited about blowing bubbles, but it is such an important skill that kids must learn. And putting on a few flotation devices can really help the kids' confidence as well. But don't get too reliant on them. We can do the breathing. Mungkin, mungkin Alex will, Alex underwater will see you. Ready? So to do a tinker. 
It's very important to push through this with anyone learning to swim. Sometimes you have to push hard even though they're very against it. Good. Hey, come on, come on, come on. And remember, always add in some fun challenges as well. Make sure kids know that learning is fun. And when it's too cold, or they've really had enough, don't push it too far. Yay! Oh. oh yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Chukur, chukur. Juna's first lesson was a success, and I look forward to helping him again soon. Let's chat with Juna and tell him about when I was learning to swim, and maybe he can relate. Panas, 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 panas. Saya ingat, saya ingat kamu sama. Umur kamu? Uh, tuju. Tuju. Ibu, ibu saya, mau saya, bela di, di, ber, uh, di kolam. Setiap hari, setiap minggu, saya tidak mau. Ibu, saya tidak mau. Ibu, saya mau, mau lihat TV, lihat TV. <laughs> Lebih menarik. Tapi, setiap hari, setiap minggu untuk satu, dua, satu tahun, dua tahun, saya pergi, wow, saya ke kolam berenang, kuat. Yeah, oh. tidak ada masalah. Yeah. Dan, Saya pergi ke pantai dan kolam berenang di pantai. Mungkin tuk tahun lagi kamu berenang di pantai. Kamu mau? Mau. So after the lesson, I wanted to thank Alex for inviting me to help Juna. She's been learning the language also. Let's check it out. Bahasa Indonesia. Alex, Belaja Bahasa Indonesia. Alex, Alex kamu dari mana? Dari Palantia. Okay. Kamu tinggal di Bali berapa lama? Uh, enam pulang. Kamu uh, suka tinggal di Bali, di Indonesia? Ya suka. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you're gonna you're gonna teach Juna as much as you can. Mm, yeah, I'll try. Jika anda menyukai videonya silakan tekan tombol suka dan belanjanan. Juga jika ada perbicaraan dalam video yang menurut anda dapat saya tingkatkan. Tolong tuliskan apa yang seharusnya saya katakan dan letakkan waktu video di sebelahannya. Seperti junior, saya juga belajar seperti pemula. And if you have any idea about a video you'd like me to make, please put in the comments what you think. Also, add me on Instagram as well. Thank you.